And welcome to another episode of the Digital Painter Vidcast. My name is Terry Dana Jakimiak II, and I am your digital painter. And you can see my doodlings on the screen right now. This week, we are jumping back to the iPad. Yes, I'm doing another iPad app update. Do, 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 update time. And the reason is Procreate, one of the very first apps that I presented on what was then the theaterprofessor.com and is now the digitalpainter.com, was Procreate. And they just came out with a new update. It's Procreate version 3.0. So I thought, you know what? That's what I have to do this week. I have to talk about Procreate because I do still love the program, though I don't use it as much as I used to because I'm I'm in love with my Wacom Cintiq over here. Um, it's like it's my my new baby, okay. And um, but I still do use it from time to time. I love to doodle on it. And Procreate is such a wonderful program. Uh, its capabilities and uh, you know I've used it for scene design in the past, for sketching, for drawing. And so I figured it was time to talk about it again. So here we go. We're going to look at it uh, right now. Like I'm just on a canvas. I was doodling, playing around. Okay. So let's jump back to the gallery uh, just to kind of get our bearings. Not much has changed in the gallery. Uh, in fact, very little. You know, it doesn't look like it at least. Yeah, there might be some stuff on the back end, but looks about the same. The big stuff's in here, and I'm going to go ahead and create a new layer. Turn that layer off. There we go. And this is probably the biggest thing for me. So when I'm designing scenery, I need straight lines. And one of my biggest problems with Procreate has always been the inability to draw straight lines. Well, they've changed that. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my pencil, take a color down here in black, and what you're going to see is, okay, so that is how a straight line used to look. This is how a straight line looks now. And the way this works is, if you once you draw your line, don't pick your finger up. You just hold it there. And my finger is still down. And not only can I, I can also move it in different directions. And it's not even for just straight lines. Watch this when I do a curve. Boom. There it is. This is a huge game changer for me because when it comes to drawing a set piece, right? So let me go ahead and I'm going to... There we go. So if I'm doing scenery... Right, I'm just doing some walls. So you've got that, or you have this. You tell me which one is more enjoyable to look at. And then we can come in here, right? So let's add a door here. And of course, when I do a door, I do molding. Didn't go high enough there. That's fine. We'll fix it. Because all I have to do is zoom in a little bit. We should probably give it a doorknob. There we go. And it's, oh, that's a terrible door. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in. I'm going to select my door. Now I'm going to stretch it taller. Because I can. It's a much better looking door. And then I'll come in here. I'll redo my line. And then switch to eraser. Whoa, my eraser's too big. There we go. Okay. So the straight line tool, and 
you know, if you are somebody who uh, works in perspective and does a lot of buildings and things, I think this is going to come in really, uh, really handy as you, as you, you know, sketch out your ideas. A couple of the smaller things, you'll know, the sliders are a little different on the left-hand side. That's great and all. They've added some brushes in here, so if you come in... Uh, so, for example, there's a stipple now in the inking. At least I don't remember that. So that's in there. You go into painting. They've got pincel mojado, uh, a couple of other ones. You've got, man, well, that's just airbrush. And texture really hasn't changed. Abstract, I didn't expect that to change. Watercolor hasn't changed. Charcoal's not really... Where is it? I know there's a new one in here. I do love luminance. That's always a fun one. Oh, pocket. Here we go. So pocket pencil. Uh, wash, light spray, fury ink. And then, oh, artistic, acrylic, wet acrylic. See, these are new ones, or at least they're new to me. You know, I, again, I haven't played in a while. So let's look at the fresco. Let's do a little fresco work. We'll do it on a new layer. Let's take a color like this. My uh, brush is too big. Well, that's kind of fun. Again, I, I haven't really played with these. I li literally just got this downloaded last night and then fell asleep. So what you're seeing here is me just kind of... Oh, I like the texture. If you like texture, that is a good brush. Let's look at our uh, acrylics. Oh, that's nice. That is nice. You can layer it up. Okay. Then you've got wet acrylic. That's not bad. What else we got? Gouache. Oh, gouache. How I love thee. Oh, look at the texture. And of course, watercolor. You know, I'm a huge fan of watercolor. Oh. Here's the real test. Let's switch to... <sighs> wow. Not bad, Procreate. Not bad at all. Let's look on the back end and see if there's a... If I can notice any major differences. No. Most of it looks the same. Which I suppose is a good thing. Oh, so that's how they chose to do that. Okay, nice. So, yeah, the, mm, nothing major. Let's put it that way. Maybe a couple minor things. Color palette hasn't changed. Thank goodness, because I love what they've done with the color palette. So it looks like there's a... a, a and it, you know, it feels pretty good. The other thing here... And I haven't purchased it yet, but they're, they're adding a perspective guide. And you can get the early access for $1.99. So let's click Learn More. And so essentially, what as you can see there, it allows you to create a perspective grid. And then you can follow that grid. Some of the desktop applications that I use have that built into it. So again, this is something that I would use in the theater fairly often so I'm very happy to see this oh excuse me a little bit of a yawn uh, I'm very happy to see them implementing this uh, early access I believe what that means is that right now you have to pay for it but in the future it might be free so that's good uh, I can still export uh, video you've got your usual pencils and things nothing major here either which is fine Oh, yes, motion blur and perspective blur. 64-bit only. Uh, apparently, mine is not 64-bit teardrop, so I can't do either of those things, but those have been added as well. So if you've got some one of the newer iPads 
um, and that is 64-bit, you'll be able to play with that. I think the updates are pretty nice. Uh, I think, you know, what it's going to do is it it improves the program, or at least my feeling is it improves the program because it's adding some things that that I like to use, <laughs> which I guess, you know, that's a little bit selfish, I suppose. But, you know, whenever somebody adds something that I'm willing to use, oh, I love this water. Look at this watercolor. So that's the first layer, right? We switch to a new color. Let's go this. Take our brush smaller. And then if we go into blend, and this is where we can have some fun, uh, go in, well, let's try blending with the watercolor. <gasps> Look at that. Okay, that's not bad, not bad at all. Ooh. I took my opacity up just a bit too much. I could come over with a couple more layers. You know, and I bet you could you could probably blend with all sorts of things to get different like that right there. That's the geisha ink. Geisha ink. Geisha ink. No, gesink gesink. Let's try this again. Gesinski ink. You can grab some turpentine. Yeah. Take that turpentine. So, some re I, I, again, I think the improvements here are immense. I'm really excited to see. I'm actually, uh, I should have some free time uh, in just a couple weeks. I finish up my current show. And once it's over with, I think I'm going to just play with this and create some... I'm really thrilled at this watercolor here. And then you can come back over. Look at that. All right. That's it for this week. It was just short one. I wanted to show you the, the new things with Procreate if you hadn't had a chance to play with it. Uh, and if you already own it, just make sure you update it. I mean, it's a free it's a free update. It's not like it's going to cost you any more money. And start playing with it. See what you can come up with. Uh, I really the 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 inks, the inking tools are looking really nice. They've uh, I don't know if this is an addition, but there's now a flat marker in here. Again, I don't remember it, but that's kind of nice. Just some blending there, right? Oops, I used the wrong blend tool. Why don't we actually blend with the blend m or with the marker? There we go. Again, a <laughs> the color blending is really quite lovely. Quite lovely. Come in here. Do some side to side blending. All right. Well, that is it for this week. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you hit the subscribe button and check out all of my videos. I've got a couple of them uploaded. And uh, if you, again, if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you check out www.thedigitalpainter.com. It's a wonderful little website that I've put together that uh, hosts these tutorials, uh, along with a variety of other things, including uh, some blog posts and, uh, you know, this, that, and the other thing, things you can find and enjoy. All right, I hope you're having a wonderful week, and I uh, look forward to seeing what you come up with with your art. Take care.